So come on to your bag. If you're using music, you can start it now. And then come on to your back and bring your arms down by your side. And let your eyes close. And palms open. And just begin to breathe in and out through your nose. Softening into your space, even though it's not my space, it's still your space. So allow yourself to settle in. I'm gonna make sure everybody is muted here. All right, somebody, I can hear your music, cool. Okay. So start your playlist in the beginning, first song. Um, let's bend your knees and plant your feet. And we're just going to come into a gentle bridge pose. So as you inhale, ground into your feet and lift your hips. And then as you exhale, lower all the way down to the mat. And again, we're going to press into the feet, lift the hips. And then exhale, lower it all the way down. And again, inhale, press into the feet, lift the hips. This time, let's add the arms. We're going to float the arms all the way over the head. And then as you exhale, lower hips and arms down. And again, press into the feet, lift the hips, float the arms up and over the head. And then exhale, lower everything down. And the next time you lift the hips, the arms are going to stay by your side because we're going to begin to walk the arms underneath and interlace the hands and press into the feet a little bit more as the hips draw up and the shoulder blades draw together. Belly draws in, breathe here. Three breaths. And then roll the shoulder blades out to the side and lower down. And let your knees come into your chest and float your knees over to the right and bring your arms in a T and look over your left shoulder. So knees to the right, gaze over your left shoulder. So this week, my message is about um, a sermon that I watched earlier this week. Um, I I'm not religious, but I am Jewish. Um, and my family is not all Jewish, so my husband's not Jewish. Draw your knees back to center, float over to the other side. So typically we do go to temple on Yom Kippur, but this year we obviously did not. Um, so I watched a sermon on Zoom of a rabbi that I've known my whole life. He's a cousin of another cousin, of a cousin of mine. So he's on the other side of the family from my first cousin but I've grown up knowing him and he's a rabbi in New Jersey and they stream their services and my parents watched his sermon and they said, you need to watch this. So I sat with my family on Yom Kippur and we watched the sermon. Draw your knees back to center and we're gonna bring the right ankle to the left thigh, flex both feet, draw it all in. So just ankle to knee, accessing the hip a little bit. And I watched the sermon and it made me cry. And the reason it made me cry was because I thought it was extremely courageous, let's switch opposite ankle to opposite knee, of this man to put himself out there in the way that he did. And it made me cry because his suggestion for solving a huge problem seemed so simple. It's something any one of us can do, but very powerful. So draw your knees into your chest and we're going to rock and roll back and forth a few times, just lengthening out the spine and then cross at the ankles and roll all the way onto your hands and knees. And with your inhale, we're going to arch the spine. And with your exhale, we're going to curl and round, drop the head. And inhale again, lift the chest. 
And exhale, we're gonna curl and round. So his sermon was about the cancel culture. And he was talking, he was talking about how damaging it can be and how the origins of it were, were very uh, magnanimous or very positive. And that there's still some positive aspects to this concept of, of calling out people for behavior, but that it's gone out of hand, right? It's gone to a place where people are canceling each other out just because they don't agree with each other, not because they did anything necessarily wrong, right? Next time you exhale, let's round, let's come all the way through our cat and come to child's pose, but just articulate the spine really slowly from head to tail and walk those arms forward. And then as you inhale, come on back onto your hands and knees. And let the right leg lift behind you. And let the left arm come forward if that feels okay. So flex the foot, reach through the fingers. As you exhale, we're going to round curl it in, elbow to knee. Inhale, we're going to get long. Exhale, we're going to curl and round again. Inhale, we're going to get long. Good. Exhale, we're going to curl and round again. Inhale, we're going to get long. Set the left hand down, and this right knee is going to come to the outside of the right arm, right? So knee to the outside of the arm. Inhale it back. Exhale, knee to the outside of the right arm. Inhale it back. Third time, knee to the outside of the right arm. This time, we're going to step the foot all the way to the outside of the mat, hands on the inside. And feel free to shift around, do whatever you need to do. So bend into your right knee, shift your way back and forth, back and forth, right? Bending into the knee, bringing yourself back, working towards threading out the hamstring. So I started to think about this concept of cancel culture. And I realized that it is the opposite of what we do on the mat, which is practice. Good. So take that right leg and bring it behind us and set the knee, right knee down and let the left leg lift behind and let the right arm reach forward. As you exhale, we're going to curl and round it all in. As you inhale, we're going to lengthen. Exhale, round. So in, in our practice, we accept mistakes. We accept that we're not perfect. We accept that only in our practice will we grow the small steps of growth that it's not these dramatic swings either yes or no but that there's all this middle ground as we slowly grow as people and in our practice set the right hand down left knee is going to come to the outside of the left arm inhale it back flex the foot exhale knee to the outside of that left arm again Inhale it back. And third time, knee comes outside the arm and we're gonna set the foot there now and do that kind of shifting around thing. So checking out what's going on. In our practice, we're encouraged to open our minds, right? To be mindful, to be thoughtful, to take the pause, to explore and accept what is being offered to us even if it's foreign to us, it's something so different we've never done before, something that makes us uncomfortable. We're trained in our practice to, to accept that. Okay. Our practice is all about acceptance, accepting what's available and what's not in the, on the mat today, accepting that we're imperfect, but that we're always trying to be better. Bend back into your left knee, float the left leg behind you, and then bring the knee to the mat. As you inhale, we're going to arch the spine. Oh, I thought she was in already. And as you exhale, we're going to round and press to downward dog. So find your way back to your first downward dog today. Pedaling out the feet, checking out what's going on. 
accepting what is available in our practice today. So that's what's amazing about this, is this opportunity in our practice to accept that we're not perfect. That sometimes things look different than they did the day before. That some people can do things we can't, and we can do things that other people can't, and that being different is okay. And we don't have to always agree with everyone else, but there's this respect, this gratitude for what we have that helps guide us through, right? As you inhale, we're gonna roll all the way forward to plank. We're gonna stop about three quarters of the way and just really lengthen through the middle upper back, or flex, I should say. Not flex. <laughs> We're rounding. Now we're flexing. So come to your full plank. As you inhale, you're going to look forward, retract the shoulder blades. So this is cat cow in plank. As you exhale, you're going to round. So my hips are going to stay as steady as they can. I'm just really mobilizing the shoulder girdle. So as you exhale, round. Imagine that I'm bringing my hand to the between your shoulder blades. And as you round up, my hand, you're pressing into my hand. And then as you exhale, we're gonna lower all the way to the mat. So maybe you're gonna use your knees for this one. Maybe you're gonna come all the way down onto your mat with chaturanga, okay? So come all the way flat to your mat. Let's do a little baby cobra here. So as you inhale, just lift the chest a little bit. Hands are maybe pressing down or maybe they lift off. And then as you exhale, we're gonna four, we're gonna lower all the way down. And as you inhale, let's press into a higher cobra. So get nice and high. And then as you exhale, roll back to downward dog. Good. Pressing back, pedaling it out. Good. So from here, we're gonna inhale, lift the right leg. So it's all about practice today, celebrating our practice, not being perfect, just in our practice. As you exhale, draw your right knee towards your nose. We're gonna step the foot in between your hands and drop your back knee. Good. So just like we did before with the foot out to the edge of the mat, we're gonna be center on the mat this time, but we're gonna kind of do that same thing. So bend and straighten that knee. Good, and then next time let's bend into the knee, reach the arms all the way up. And let the hands come to the heart and we'll twist. So left elbow is gonna come outside, right knee. So our practice is about not being perfect and it's about acceptance. So the rabbi talked about, he started off his sermon by talking about a situation that just recently happened with his high school son, his high school age son. As you exhale, set the hands down, curl the back toes under, as you inhale, lift the right leg all the way up and set it back down. We're gonna do the second side. So left leg's gonna lift, flex the foot. Exhale, bend the knee, we're gonna round it towards the nose. Step the foot in between your hands, drop your back knee. We'll do that shifting thing. So his son plays high school baseball and the coach was desperately trying to get them back to playing. I guess this was probably a month ago or something. And he was trying to get them on the field, practicing again after many months of being quarantined and sign them up for whatever tournaments that he could find so that the kids could actually play. Then into the left knee, float the arms up. So his son comes home from his first tournament that he's played in many, many months. Hands come to the heart, right elbow outside, left knee. Look up to the sky, find your twist. And he asks him how it was and the son tells him, you know, how he did, how he played personally. But then he said there was something weird about the tournament, a police officer threw out the first pitch. And the rabbi says, okay, that's, that's cool. You know, no worries there. And he said, yeah, there was something called 
This the tournament was called Back to the Blue. Bring your hands back down, curl your right toes under, lift your right knee, float your left leg all the way up. So he'd never heard of that, so he went and looked at it online and it was bring the left foot down. We're gonna roll all the way forward to plank this time again. So slow as you articulate through to your plank, and then we're gonna do those little cat cow and plank. So as you inhale, bring the lift the chest a little bit. As you exhale, we're gonna round. Inhale, we're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades, look forward. Exhale, we're gonna round. Couple more. Inhale. And exhale. So super subtle movement. My hips aren't really moving. It's just my shoulders, my upper back. And then lower all the way to the mat. So if you want to use your knees, go ahead. If not, all the way down. Inhale, little baby cobra here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high cobra. And exhale, curl the toes under, downward dog. Let's take five breaths here. Okay. Five breaths. So basically it was a blue lives matter tournament and somebody in their town took the flyer and doctored it to make it seem like the high school team had sponsored the event fundraised for the event and these kids these 14 15 16 year olds were getting horrible thousands of comments calling them racist on social media start to walk your feet slowly towards your hands and finally, after this wave of horrible comments come, somebody finds the actual flyer. So when you get up to the top of your mat, just bend your knees a little, let your chest line on your thighs, let your head hang. Somebody finds the flyer, the actual flyer and posts it to show that these kids had no idea what the tournament was. They, they just went and wanted to play baseball, slowly roll all the way up and the coach, as well Good. bring your hands to your heart close your eyes and what he said was that as soon as the flyer was posted and found all the comments stopped but there was no discussion there was no apology there was no recognition that maybe people were not getting the whole story and jumping to conclusions and canceling out they just moved on to the next thing Inhale, bring the arms around and up. And exhale, forward fold. And that's what we learn not to do on our mats, right? We learn to take that pause, inhale. We learn to seek out the information that we need to know in the, in the body and the mind. We know that it takes a long time to do exhale, chaturanga. We know it's not simple. We know it's not black or white, inhale. We know that we're complex human beings with lots of different emotions and thoughts. And he goes on to talk about how he is actually was concerned that he is going to be canceled. He's a national contributor for Morning Joe. He runs a religious organization in New Jersey, the whole association. And he said that this sermon might get me canceled. So we had this opportunity and I realized after I watched it that this practice really helps us see that that's not the way we need to function or the way that we have to function, let's put it that way. That we have this opportunity for mindfulness, to pause, to accept that people make mistakes, that we're all human. Inhale, high on the toes, exhale, bend your knees, hop, step, float, the feet to your hands. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. And that we have the opportunity to get all the information before we make a judgment, right? Arms come around and up, exhale. We're so quick as a, as a society right now to judge because we have this heightened level of stress going on, under this underlying stress. Inhale, arms come around and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, flow through your plank, chaturanga. 
And he goes on to talk about how we're all can we're all canceling in our own little ways. Exhale. We're canceling people that don't agree with us on social media. We're canceling organizations that aren't doing exactly what we want. We're so quick to just cut things off at this time. And there's one piece that we're missing. And that miss that thing that we're missing is this conversation, right? To just talk about it. To explore someone else's perspective does not take away from our own. Then knees hop, step, or float. Forward, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit into your chair this time. So press back into the heels, lift up. Oh, next half, forward fold. So as we come back into what we're doing here, our practice, inhale, lengthen. We're gonna flow through our vinyasa here. Remember, you can skip whatever you need to, right? Acceptance is a key piece of this practice. So accept what your body has to offer you today and let go of what, does not, what it does not. Plant the left foot, step the right foot forward. We're gonna hold our warrior one for five breaths. So, Bend into your right knee, soften your shoulders, ground into the back foot, wrap the left hip forward. So on the mat, we're not afraid. We're not afraid of what, of the unknown, right? Of not being perfect. We're not afraid to be grateful. We're not afraid to accept. So we know our practice can translate off the mat. We know that. That's the opportunity we have. That's the gift we have. Bring your hands to the mat. That is what your practice is today. Step back to plank. Took me a long time to get there, but that's what it is. <laughs> Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, high cobra. Exhale, back downward dog. We'll ground the right foot. We'll step the left foot forward. It's five breaths here in warrior one. So just settle in. It may not be perfect. Right? It may not look like what Iyengar looks like in the book. There may be some modifications we need to do. As we soften in, we find acceptance. What's available today? May not be exactly what we want to hear from our bodies, right? Something doesn't feel perfect. We may not want to hear that. We might want everything to just feel good. But we have to accept sometimes. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale the plank. Exhale, chaturanga if you want it. Inhale, high cobra. Exhale it back. Downward dog, five breaths here. So thread through your fingers. Work those heels down. Navel to spine. Breathe. Two more breaths. Inhale, high on the toes. Exhale, bend your knees, hop, step, or float the feet up to the hands. Inhale, we're gonna find our flat back. Exhale, we're gonna hinge and fold. Inhale, let's sit into chair. So find your Utkatasana, arms reach up, hips come back, gaze is forward. And then as you exhale, we're gonna forward fold. Inhale, lengthen again. Exhale, move through your plank, chaturanga, skip whatever you need to. Inhale, high cobra. Exhale, back, downward dog. Good, breathing here. Inhale, lift your right leg nice and high. As you exhale, bend your knee, draw to the nose, step the foot in between your hands. As you inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Lift the arms, lift the chest. And as you exhale, we're gonna twist here. So we're adding on to our twist. If you wanna drop your back knee, feel free to do so. Look up to the sky. Squeeze and roll your left inner thigh towards your midline. And then step the left foot up to meet the right. We're going to come into chair. So Utkatasana sitting into your chair. 
Good. Inhale, come nice and high up. Exhale, we're going to forward fold. Inhale, lengthen here. Exhale, flow through your planks, chaturanga. Inhale, high cobra. Exhale, it back, downward dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to the nose, step the foot in between the hands. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Lift the chest and the arms. Exhale, we're gonna twist. Right elbow outside, left knee. So squeezing those inner thighs towards each other. Navel draws in. And then step the right foot up to meet the left. We're gonna come into our chair. Gazing up to the sky. Getting a little deeper, maybe those hips drop down. Good. Inhale, arms are gonna reach up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we're gonna lengthen here. As you exhale, flow all the way through again. Your vinyasa, skip it if you want to. Always, right? It's about acceptance. It's about practice. Draw your knee, right knee towards your nose. We're gonna shift forward, step the foot in between the hands again. This time, left hand's gonna stay down, right arm's gonna reach up. Follow those fingers up towards the light. So your gaze is up. Squeeze your inner thighs towards your midline, navel draws into your spine, left arm forward, right arm back. Look over your back shoulder. And then right hand's gonna float to that left leg, left arm's gonna float up to the sky. Good. Once again, those hands are gonna come to the heart and we're gonna find our twist. So let yourself twist. Left elbow outside, right knee. Squeezing those inner thighs towards each other. If you're looking for more, you can always separate the arms. Explore a half bind if you want to. Either way, we're gonna bring the hands back to the heart and you're gonna step the left foot up so we're in our Utkatasana. I'm just gonna switch positions so you guys can see. So options here. This right leg is gonna lift. So you can either bring the left hand to the knee and lift up into a twist, or you can try to keep the hands together as you come up, right? Ground into the left leg. Once you're here, now separate the hands. If you wanna grab the foot, go ahead. Lift here. Good. Bring your gaze forward. So this right leg is gonna step all the way back into your lunge. Right hand down, left arm up. So we're on that second side. Squeezing inner thighs towards the midline, navel towards the spine, looking up to the sky as you reach those fingers up. And then we're gonna slowly reach forward and back, lengthening out through the arms. And then finding that reverse. So left hand comes to right leg, right arm reaches up, look up. And then once again, we're twisting. So right elbow outside, left knee. So we're accessing all of our vulnerabilities right now. We're really twisting through the spine. We're asking ourselves to balance and twist. Left arm up, maybe we're wrapping for that half bind. So what do we do when we're there? Well, we accept, right? We accept and if we wiggle out, we come back. We try it again. Right? We're not perfect. Step the right foot up to meet the left. So we're in our Utkatasana. And now you get to choose. As the left foot lifts, you can stay with the hands together or you can bring the right hand to the left knee. Once you're up, straighten the arms out, maybe grab the foot. Either way, looking over that back. Shoulder. Good. 
Gaze comes forward, shoot that left leg behind you, step it down. Both hands are gonna come to the mat. We're gonna move through our vinyasa. So we'll meet in a downward dog once again. Inhale and exhale here. So take five breaths. If you need a rest, feel free to take it. Just breathing here. And on your next inhale, come high on the toes. And as you exhale, bend your knees, hop, step, or float the feet to the hands. Inhale, we're gonna find our flat back. And exhale, hinge and fold. Good, inhale, Utkatasana, so sit back into your chair. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold. Inhale, lengthen here. And exhale, brings us all the way through plank to Chaturanga. Remember, you can skip whatever you need to. This is about what is of service to you today. Good, right leg is gonna lift nice and high. As you exhale, draw your right knee to your nose. Keep the left hand planted. Let the right arm reach up to the sky. Good. Again, as you lift, you're going to bring the left arm forward. You're going to bring the right arm back, looking over that back shoulder. But this time, we're going to windmill it open to warrior two. Okay, so find your warrior two. As you inhale, we're gonna straighten that front leg, bring the palms up and over the head. As you exhale, press the arms down. Inhale, straighten the leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, press and bend into the knee. Inhale it up. Exhale, press the arms down. Right forearm's gonna to come to right thigh. Left arm's gonna reach up, so we'll start here. If you want to, you're gonna float it over the ear, softening again into the right knee. Good. As you exhale, look down. Right hand's gonna come to the floor in front of the right foot. We're coming into our half moon. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Flex the foot, draw your gaze up. And then bring that left hand down, close off the left hip. So we're wrapping the left inner thigh towards the right inner thigh. Flex the foot, getting into that standing split a little bit. And then bend your right knee, walk the left foot long behind you. Both hands are coming to the inside of the foot. Good, okay. Right arm's gonna reach up to the sky. We're gonna come, I'm just gonna switch directions here. We're gonna come to the pinky toe edge of the right foot and the pinky toe edge of the left foot. As you inhale, lift the lower hip, float the arm over. As you exhale, lower the hip and reach the arm back. Inhale it up. Exhale, we're gonna lower. Inhale it all the way up, hip lift. Exhale, we're gonna lower. Last one. Inhale it all the way up. Exhale, lower. So we're threading out the IT bands and then we're gonna bring the hands back inside the foot. Drop your back knee, come to lizard pose. So if you wanna come onto your forearms, go ahead, squeeze that right knee in towards your shoulder, getting a little work in your adductors, your inner thigh. And press up into the hands, curl the back toes under. If you wanna try to bring that right knee up onto your arm and hover it there, feel free. We're gonna float it back and lower through 
or push up and back to downward dog. Good. Okay, second side, left leg is gonna lift and help. As you exhale, knee comes to the nose, step the foot in between the hands, keep the right hand down, float the left arm up to the sky. We're wringing out the spine. We're getting into the deeper recesses of our bodies where we hold our fear, our anxiety, our belief, our false belief that we need to be perfect, right? Bend into the left knee, reach the right arm forward, left arm back. But we're always growing. We're always changing. And then windmill it open to warrior two. Good. Bending nice and deeply into that front knee. Good. As you inhale, straighten the leg, reach the arms up. As you exhale, bend the knee, come a little softer in. Again, inhale it up. And exhale, bend. Again, inhale it up. And exhale, bend. Left forearm's going to come to left thigh. Right arm's going to reach up to the sky. And then if you want to, you're going to load it over the ear. So looking up to the sky, bending a little deeper into that left knee, reaching the right arm over the ear, pressing into the outer edge of that back foot. As you exhale, look down. Left hand's gonna find the floor or a block in front of the left foot. We're coming into Ardha Chandrasana. Loading that right leg up, loading the right arm up, looking up, opening ourselves up. And then the right hand comes down. We're going to be in our standing split. So flex your right foot so it faces down. You're rolling your right inner thigh towards your left. Allowing a deep stretch in the hamstrings and the glutes. If you need a bend in that knee, please feel free to go ahead and do that. And then bend the left knee, step the right foot long behind you, right hand stays down, left arm reaches up. We're gonna do that IT band thing. So come to the outer edge of your left foot, outer edge of your right foot. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the arm, lift the hip. Exhale, lower it out. Inhale again. And exhale. Last one. Inhale the arm all the way out. Swing the hands inside the foot. And drop your back knee. We're coming to lizard. Second side. So forearms come down, left knee moves in towards your shoulder. Breathe here. And five breaths here. And then press into the hands, curl the back toes under. Lift the back knee if you want to. You're hovering that left knee up on your upper arm. We're going to float it back to plank. If you want to, you're moving through a vinyasa. If you don't want to, don't. And come into your downward dog. Five breaths here. So if you want a child's pose, go for it. We have this opportunity. You have this opportunity for practice. To use this time as a chance to grow and change. To cultivate our acceptance. To realize that our practice is not about the extremes. It's about growing a little bit each day. Each time we step on the mat. Sometimes feeling uncomfortable shuts us down. It makes us want to cancel things out. But what we know is that being uncomfortable is how we change. Inhale high on the toes, 
Exhale, bend the knees, hop, step, or float the feet to the hands. Inhale, we're gonna find a flat back here. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold, walk your feet out about hip distance, hook your big toes, just rock back and forth on your feet a couple times, letting your head go. And three more breaths here. If you need a bend of the knees, feel free to take it. Yeah, let's release the toes, unless you feel like keeping a hook on your right big toe as you come up into tree. So it's up to you. We're gonna come into our Vrachasana tree. Bring your hands to your heart. I'm gonna shift the face, you guys. Good. So it can be above the knee, below the knee. When you're ready, arms are gonna reach up to the sky. Shoulders are soft. If you wanna try practice leaning tree, bring your right hand to your right knee, start to tip over towards that right knee. Good. Bring your hands back to your heart. Let the knee come forward. We're going to shift through our warrior three. So flex the foot, shifting forward and meeting in revolved half moon. So we've done a lot of twisting already today. Right hand comes down, left arm reaches up to the sky. Inner thighs roll towards each other, gazes up. And two more breaths here. As you exhale, bring both hands down. We're in our standing split. If you feel like playing with your handstand hops or switches, switches are fun, let's do switches today. So as one leg comes up, the other one comes down, right? So back and forth. We're not invested in the outcome. It's just a switching back and forth. And you might find that little moment of air time, or you might not. So end up back with the left leg down. Plant the right foot behind you about three feet and fold over your left leg. Parsvottanasana. Breathe. Oof, my hamstrings are super tight today, right? So I could just not listen to that. I could just be pissed and plow through it, cancel out my hamstrings, or I could accept it. I could bend my knee a little bit just to be a little more compassionate. I could understand that growth is not just a straight line forward. Sometimes we need to move back to go ahead. And then bring your right hand to the outside of your left foot. Drop your right hip down and lift your left arm up to the sky. Gaze up. I think the most powerful thing that I took away from the sermon that I listened to is the idea that the reminder that to be uncomfortable is not bad. To be around discourse or disagreement is okay. Because maybe there's a chance we're gonna learn something different about ourselves and that is okay. We're always changing and evolving. And that discourse, that discomfort, that's how we change. And that's how our society has changed over time. We can't all agree on the same exact things. We can't all think the same way, and that's okay. Step the right foot up to meet the left. We're gonna be in our forward bend again, so slide the hands all the way underneath the feet. Let the head go, 
shake out the head. Breathe here. Softening in to the discomfort. Release the hands from underneath the feet. So if you want to, you're going to hook the left big toe this time. And we're going to come all the way up into tree if you did it on the right. If not, just roll all the way up first. And then hands to the heart, knee out to the side. When you're ready, if you're ready, float your arms all the way up to the sky, soften the shoulders. Left hand comes to left knee. If you want to, we're coming into that leaning tree. Good. And then bring your hands back to your heart. Draw the knee forward. We're gonna shift back through our warrior three into revolve half moon. So notice my left foot is flexed, toes are facing down, right arm reaches up to the sky. Good. And then right arm comes down, we're back in our standing split. So if you wanna play with those handstand switches again, go ahead. We're meeting in that triangle forward bend, if you remember, so feel free to go right there. Since we switched, you already did both sides, so if you don't want to do it again, all good. Right? No investment in the outcome, we're just practicing. And if we fall, it's only practice. So make sure you have the right foot down in the front, left foot back, fold over Parsvottanasana. And then left hand's gonna come to the inside or outside of the right foot. We're gonna come into revolve triangle. You're gonna drop the right hip down, lift the left arm up, find your twist. Good, and then bring both hands down. And we're gonna step the right foot back to meet the left. So we're gonna be in a downward dog. And lift the right leg up nice and high. Bend the right knee, stack and open that hip a little bit. If you wanna do some circles with your knee, or your hip rather, feel free just loosening up the outer hip. And then we're gonna bring the right knee forward behind the right wrist and the right ankle forward behind the left wrist and come into our pigeon. Softening in. As we get into the deeper, deeper recesses of the hip, we might uncover things that we're storing there. Fear of not being perfect, fears of being uncomfortable, of discourse, our judgment lives here. And we all have that stuff because we're all imperfect. And that's okay.
two more breaths on this side. And then we're gonna make our way back to downward dog. Shake out that right leg. Again, do those big circles if you want to. And then lift the left, bend the knees, back it. Oh, just loosening up that outer hip a little bit more. And then draw your left knee behind your left wrist and your left ankle behind your right wrist. And find pigeon second side. Three more breaths on the side. And we'll make our way back. Lift the left leg, shake it out, whatever way it feels good for you. And then lift the right leg, bend the knee. We're gonna bring it like we're coming into pigeon again. So right knee forward, but instead we're just gonna swing the left leg around. Left knee stacks on top of right. And we're actually gonna roll onto our backs this way. So you're gonna walk onto your elbows and come all around to your back. Grab your ankles. So your left knee is on top of your right. Just draw all of that in, heels towards the hip. And then we'll switch the right knee on top of left, grab the ankles or the feet, draw the heels in towards the hips. And then unwrap the legs, set the feet down. We're gonna come into bridge pose. So two final back bends of your choice. So you decide what they are. I'm suggesting a bridge and then maybe an herb to down your asana for the second if you want. So for the bridge, ground into your feet, lift your hips, walk your arms underneath you, interlace the hands. Maybe you can grab your ankles. Who knows? Relax your buttocks a little bit so your lower spine is doing the heavy lifting here. But keep the belly nice and strong. And then lower that all the way down. And your second and final. So if you wanna do another bridge, go ahead. If you feel like working into Urv Dijanurasana, we've done a lot of work in the shoulders today. We've done a lot of twisting, so the spine is quite flexible. It's really up to you. So ground into the feet, you're gonna bring the hands right by your ears. Maybe press up onto the top of your head just to reorganize your hands and then find your way up. And slowly lower that down. Walk your feet wide on the mat with your knees bent. Just sway your knees from side to side. And the next time both knees float over to the right, just go ahead and stay. And if you want to, you can bring your right foot onto your left knee, arms in the T, gaze over your left shoulder. It's a little bit more of a stretch into the TFL from the insertion of the IT band. And 
then we'll switch. So set the right side down, swing both knees over to the left, left ankle onto right knee, look over your right shoulder. And then draw your knees up and slowly lower your legs down to the floor, arms down to the floor, close your eyes. And come into your rest. Your Shavasana. So remember that our practice today was to celebrate the concept of practice. And instead of canceling things out that are difficult, practice teaches us how to be uncomfortable because we know that that's how we can grow. Sometimes our emotions, our thoughts, our fears are scary and uncomfortable, but if we don't address them or think about them or work through them, they don't go anywhere. They just sit inside us in the body, in the mind. They work like a little robot affecting our choices and our actions and our karma. As you settle into this rest, remember that your mind can take that moment, that pause, that we can learn from our growth. And that it's a little bit each day. Really begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And reach your arms all the way up and over your head. And just stretch. And then draw your knees into your chest. And slowly make your way onto your right side. And just take a moment here. Moment in your practice. And then find your way up to a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to your heart. Close your eyes. I right, thank you so much for being here with me today, for sharing your practice with me, even over Zoom. Namaste.
थैंक यू